This right here is the parasol chairs. It is the widest right I have built so far in this theme park layout. And in this video, I'm going to show you all about it. Let's take a close look at the parasol chairs. The module itself is very similar to the plane flyer and big wheel in that they are NXT powered with three motors, one for the outer track. The outer track is having this one-way mechanism so that you can power the inner track with the same motor. There's one motor to power the ride itself turning around and there's one motor to lift up the track or in the case of the plane flyer, the plane itself. So you can see I can lift it here and put it down. I'm using a button here or a knob in order to lift it up so that I can actually work this module without powering on the NXT. There's a light sensor hidden right behind the uh, entry right here so that it isn't that visible, but there's actually another light sensor inside of this module. So let's take a look at what's actually going on inside of this. First of all, you have the NXT right here. I can open up to it. So standard NXT, powered using an old battery, doesn't really matter. And I can take off the plating over this motor here, which is powering the track. I have a gadget slot right here. And then you don't really get into further parts of this module. Fairly little access to it, but you don't really need that much access into what's going on in here, because the important part is underneath of what is happening here. Here in the middle, you can see a ring of little wheels, seven of them in total, because the eight on here, there wasn't space for it because of the motor powering everything. And if you recognize the merry-go-round, you can see it's actually the same setup. So we have the uh, ring of wheels and we have this 40 tooth gear here that is running onto these 140 tooth banana gears of the ride itself. Just now we are using an NXT motor, where in the merry-go-round we are using the L motor, or really the XL motor, from the Spike Prime. You can also notice there is a light sensor here, and that is the last sensor. This sensor is an unintrusive way of detecting exactly where the ride is, because if you're looking underneath of the ride, there are two black lines. And these two black lines are detected by the sensor in order to see that it is in the right position. And that is why you see when I'm starting up the module that it is turning first half a rotation and then a little more in order to have one of the chairs lined up with the grabber here. So let's put it down and turn on the module so that you can see how that works. So I'm turning it up, it on. I'm putting the parasols down now and we don't really care how they are turned. There's not a chair directly outside of here, but if I'm turning it on, you can see first it really puts down this uh, lift here in order to be in a neutral position and you can see we turned half a uh, rotation and now just a little bit more in order to be underneath of the chair. So now we're having a passenger getting in. It just detected me instead of the passenger. That's what happens when you have these live demos. And you can see it's loading up. So now one passenger is in, so it turns half a rotation in order to put on the next passenger. Let's hope that it can de detect the passenger correctly. It didn't. Let's try again. There we go. It doesn't really like that. I have a light shining directly into the sensor. But you can see here, he's put up. And now he turns one position in order to put into the next chair. And that is so that we always have a balanced setup of people inside of the ride. 
Now it's erroneously detected another passenger. They should have been here. But that is what happens when I'm changing the lights in this module. What you can see underneath of the sensor here is also the big gear that is actually lifting this part of the track. So now I'm just tricking it to get another person who is not here inside of the module. And we can do that with the last two, then you can see it running as well. So I to put in the last passenger. And then we are ready to run the ride, the craziest ride of the whole theme park. So we are running up to, I believe, 85 to 90% power of the NXT motor. And you can also see the chairs are actually moving out. And that is why I'm running it this fast, so that you can see that they are tilting a bit and not just staying completely straight. And now after the ride has run its course, the motor is completely confused about where we are. So it's just repeating what you saw in the beginning, driving half a turn to see a black line and then turning a bit in order to make sure that we are aligned underneath of the exit and then we can get people out. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you're going to enjoy all of the videos coming in the future. So that's it for now. Take care, have fun and I'll see you next time. And while I remember, try to check out the 3D <laughs> rendering of this module or this ride in the original theme park game for the PlayStation. It looked quite different back then.